guys, um, I wanted to come on and chat with you a little bit about what happened today at my, my appointment. And I'll let everyone sort of hop on really fast because I know it takes a couple seconds for people to get notifications that I am live. So I'll let you guys hop on. Um, but in the meantime, can we talk about, you know, how fast my hair is growing in? It is crazy. If you guys are on and you can hear me, if you can comment below so that I know that you can hear me. I know last time I had a problem with my sound. So if you guys can hear me, if you can just let me know that you can hear me and drop a comment, that would be super helpful for me so that I know that I'm not talking and no one can hear me. So um, I'll wait and make sure that someone can hear me before I let you guys know what happened today at my appointment. Um, this hair is driving me nuts. It's like long and I have curly hair and it's weird. Can anyone hear me? Can you guys hear me? Anyone? Anyone? Can anyone hear me? Okay. I have no idea if you guys can hear me. So I'll wait for someone to comment that they, they can hear me. Anyone? Okay, awesome. Thank you, Stacy. I appreciate that a lot because I was like, oh, am I talking to no one? I know last time no one could hear me. So thank you for letting me know. So um, first off, uh, I wanted to let you know before I kind of get into the meat of this that I have a new best friend and she is four years old and her name is Paisley. And she has been watching my story from the beginning, and I'm so thankful for that. She checks in on me every single day on um, her grandma's iPhone to make sure that I'm doing well. So I wanted to say hi to Paisley and just see um, how she was doing and kind of thank her um, for being my supporter through all this. I know I have so many supporters, but it's like so sweet that I had a four-year-old who um, you know, has been so intent on making sure that I am okay. So, um, you guys want the good news or the bad news first? Which one? Anyone? Anyone care? Does it matter to you guys? No? No one cares? Okay. Well, um, if it doesn't matter, I will, I think I'll give you the good news first. So the good news is that my pelvis is healing the way that it should be. Um, my bones have grown in a ton. You guys, one says good and one says bad. Um, my bones have grown in a ton. Like they showed me my last x-ray, which was like two weeks after surgery. And then this x-ray, which was like six weeks after surgery. And um, my bones have grown in a ton. My pelvis is the shape that it should be. Um, I am able to get off uh, the Lovenox, which is the blood thinners to prevent blood, blood clots, which is huge because I have to take shots twice a day. And those of you who know me know I'm not good with needles and blood, so my husband has to give them to me, which is not super awesome. So um, I get to come off the Lovenox. The second exciting thing is that I can shower, um, which is like amazing because I haven't showered in six weeks. I do wash my hair, it's like quite a process. Um, and I take these like really fancy sponge baths in front of the sink every morning, which take forever. Um, but I, I am able to take them and, um, everyone tells me I'm not smelly. So I'm psyched that I can take a shower. <laughs> I think that that is really exciting. And, um, what I think is the biggest piece of news is that I am allowed to, um, crutch around huge like that's amazing I'm allowed to um, put full weight on my left foot and tippy toe on my right so that I can easily use crutches or a walker which is like awesome and I will definitely show you guys you know Jillian's first steps kind of like baby's first steps so I'm really excited about that I'm really excited that I'm not gonna be stuck in a wheelchair um, all the time I feel like that's gonna help my pain a lot um, it is going to be tough. Like, you know, I get out of breath doing very little things, which is hard for me because I was in good shape before. And so I know it's going to be a process, but I'm confident that being able to bear weight is going to be huge for me and being able to crutch around is going to be huge for my recovery. 
um, because I have not been able to do that. And all the leg, leg exercises I've been able to do have been like sitting and raising my legs or, um, you know, kind of propping them up on something and doing something small like that. So being able to crutch around is like massive for me. So those are kind of like my three huge pieces. Oh, and I had broken this, which honestly I wasn't like maybe I had so much pain elsewhere I didn't feel that as much but I wasn't able like if I was doing like arm raises or something like that I wasn't able to raise above 90 degrees my doctor says I can do whatever I want else I can do this I can raise my up so that's really exciting for me is that I can do some more arm exercises too which may not excite some people but that really excites me so um you know a lot of my restrictions are lifted now for what I feel like is the bad news and I wasn't quite ready to share the news when I got it to be honest. Um, you know I got it like seven hours ago now and I was pretty heartbroken about it um, and so I needed to take some time to kind of digest because I think that even though I've been really strong through all this and you guys have been amazing and I've always looked on the bright side. Um, this is really hard for me and I think sometimes it's okay to kind of wallow and I spent most of the afternoon kind of wallowing and not being super productive and feeling bad for myself but um, I'm doing better now and I'm feeling better about it and I know that in the long run it's gonna be the best decision for me so um, when the x-rays came back great I was really excited and then the doctor was like okay we're gonna take it off soon um, in about a month and I was like what in a month I like I think I think I thought she was kidding I was like oh my god really a month so um, I asked like four different times if she really meant a month and she said yes she said that um, even though I'm doing awesome and that will be about 10 weeks with a fixator on when the month hits um, and the, the average that someone has it in is about 12 weeks. So, I mean, if I got it off, it's I'm at about six weeks now. If I got it off next week or the week after, which is what I expected, seven or eight, that was going to be way ahead of schedule. But I'm going to get it off at about 10 and a half, which is still ahead of schedule, but not as ahead of schedule as I would have liked. So, I'm sad about that. That's hard for me. Um, it's um, uncomfortable it's awkward I don't like the way it looks it's hard for me to dress normally but um, the risk of infection after it comes out and the risk of my pelvis popping out of place again is much lower if I wait that extra month and it's what my doctor recommends and I've been really lucky through this whole thing um, and it will be hopefully my last surgery so I'm going to go with what the doctor recommended and I'm going to wait the month even though it's going to be really really hard and it means um, lack of normalcy but having the good and the ability to start crutching around and putting that right toe down and really kind of putting weight on my left foot which I really I was doing it but I was just kind of pivoting before I wasn't like putting full weight on it um, is huge. And I think that it will help me once the, the fixator comes off that I will really, you know, be able to walk much faster because I'll have started already crutching around, which I wasn't doing before. I was just permanently in a wheelchair and pivoting in and out of the couch and the bed and the toilet and the wheelchair and anywhere I needed to go. So um, I'm, I was surprised today, honestly, because I was feeling decent about how it was going and I was definitely feeling decent after they said my x-rays were so good and I saw the comparison and how much bone had grown between you know two weeks post-op and six weeks post-op but I get it and I want a full recovery and I want to get back to my active lifestyle and I don't want um, to have long-term issues from this like at all and so if it means that I have to keep this on an extra, um, you know, basically it's going to be three weeks from what I thought because there's, it wasn't going to come out today. I mean, it's a scheduled surgery, so there, it, couldn't, it couldn't come out today. Um, but from what I understand, it's a very easy surgery. Um, it won't be like putting it in. So I feel good about that. I don't love surgery, and I don't remember my brain surgery or my pelvis surgery. So 
um, it's going to be hard because I'm going to like obviously re like know that I'm going into surgery this time, which I didn't know last time. I've only had one other surgery in my life and it was when I um, shattered my nose. So, um, and I was nervous for that, obviously. So that's my good and my bad. Um, so hopefully you guys will see Jillian's first steps video soon. Um, and I'll be on crutches. The crutches are a little hard to navigate because the fixator goes beyond my pelvis. So I have to like hold them out more. So I'm going to have to definitely learn how to do that. And you know, the physical therapy coming into the house will help more because before I was really just doing the same exercises that I was doing all the time with her. Cause you're very limited when you can't stand pretty much. So, um, if you guys have any questions, you can feel free to ask them. I will always answer them. As always, I appreciate all of you. Um, I appreciate your support and positivity. And um, while I struggled um, this afternoon and, you know, my husband saw it, definitely. He was like, it's going to be okay. I'm like, Ugh. you know, I was angry. I am going to... Um, I'm going to be okay. Um, Mary, I did break my sternum. I did not break my collarbone. I broke my sternum, my sacrum, my pelvis, and I shattered my face, believe it or not. Um, my face is still really tight. I can still feel it. But, um, oh, and my husband reminded me that I broke my skull and I had brain yeah. surgery. I fractured my skull and I had brain surgery. Um, but um, my, my face is still really fractured. And um, I guess though, like all the fractures are lined up. So I've said this in a bunch of videos, so sorry if this is a repeat, but the fractures are lined up. So they're just kind of kind of like come back together. And for those of you that knew what I looked like before, I look pretty similar to the way I looked before. With the exception of the fact that like I still have some um, numbness and like right over here, my, my wrinkles don't go all the way across. You see that? It's like I got like a little bit of Botox. I keep joking about that. Um, so yeah, Sarah, I definitely, I'm not stressing about it. I'm just, you know, you get your hopes up for something when they say everything looks so great. And then you're like, soon is not a month, you know, just another month of this is hard. It's hard. It's been hard. And I've never told you guys it's been easy, but it's been easier keeping a positive attitude about it, you know? So um, I'm going to have to get like a handicap placard and stuff just because I didn't think it was going to be that long, which is fine. And I'm going to just have to keep looking on the bright side because that's what I've been doing this whole time. And that's what's helped me this whole time for sure. Um, I've been doing Reiki, which I think has been helping. And I've been very diligent about my physical therapy, like absurdly del diligent. Um, and, you know, to the point where some days I'm like, I'm sore from physical therapy. Um, thank you, Diane. I really appreciate that. So that's my update. Um... And Stacy, I will be taking baby steps. Literally, I will be taking baby steps. Very small baby steps I'll be taking. Um, oh, Donna, you're so sweet. That's so nice. I have so many nice people that join me on here. It's like really uplifting to come on here. And it's therapeutic for me, you know, to kind of like share what's going on with me and how I'm feeling. And I know this isn't like a cheery, happy update. You know, I wish I could come on here and be like, it's coming out next. Wednesday, but it's not. Um, and so, um, but I, but I do, I will tell you, I have it scheduled. So, um, October 24th, it's coming out. It is scheduled, which is exciting. Um, the doctor was like, do you want to schedule it now? And we, my husband and I were like, yes, we want to schedule it now. <laughs> so, um, I'll do like all of my pre-op stuff ahead of time. I'll get all the blood work taken and I know I'm going in for surgery. And like I said, it's a very, very, very quick procedure. She said, it's like, less than 30 minutes literally she said it's like 10 minutes so um I'm excited for that for sure that it's not like a really serious procedure um and I don't think I have to go all the way under I think it's more like um like how they do a c-section um where they kind of just like dope me up and then um curtain me and make sure that I can't feel any pain so that's like I mean, that's huge too, not having to go under, you know, a third time because I've already been under twice in the past, you know, six weeks. So, 
So thank you guys all for tuning in. Nancy, I can't wait for you guys to see me walking either. And by walking, I mean crutching, but like I'll actually be upright and not just like sitting around, which is huge for me. And it, like I said, if you guys have any questions, ask them, I'm happy to answer them. Um, to the best of my ability, I don't know like all the doctor lingo stuff, but if I can answer them, I absolutely will. That's Fenway. Um, he's loud. The puppy's very quiet. So when it's barking, it's Fenway. Um, so yeah. So um, I hope that your Thursday is good. And I wanted to hop on kind of after my East Coasters got out of work. But I needed to get on before um, the Patriots came on. Because it's going to be crazy in here when the Patriots come on. I don't even know if we know who the quarterback is yet. Getting completely off topic. But... Um, I'm not really sure who's even, oh, my husband says that, um, brisket is brisket. I can't, brisket is quarterback tonight. Um, as of now, but who the heck knows what's going to happen. Yes. Upright does count. So, um, and yes, I am going to take baby steps, very literally baby steps. Um, I'm going to crutch to the bathroom so that, um, but it's going to, it's hard guys. Like it's hard when you haven't been upright at all, you know, and, um, I haven't been doing any cardio because I can't do anything. But you know what? I might be able to, like, bike or something. Like, not, like, upright bike, but, like, sit bike. I'll have to ask the doctor if I can do that. So, like, in a gym, which I don't have a gym membership. But I'll figure that out. Anyway. Um, all right. So I will chat with you all later. And I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Bye.